Hey, I'm Erin, and I'm an intern for Students Opposing Speciesism, or SOS, and an animal rights activist. I'm guessing you're here because you're interested in taking the first steps towards hosting your first protest, which I know can be a bit daunting. So I'm here to help. I started my journey as an animal rights activist a couple years ago. After being vegan for only one week, I knew I had to get active for animals by informing everyone about the atrocities of animal agriculture. Soon after that, I learned that there was an SOS hub on my college campus, so I joined it. I was a bit nervous about going to my first protest because I'm uncomfortable talking with lots of strangers, and I expected people to be confrontational. But everything went so smoothly. Most people were kind and respectful, even if they weren't receptive to our message. It really wasn't anywhere near as scary or complicated as I built it up to be in my head. All you really need to do is choose an animal rights topic you're passionate about, grab some posters and leaflets, gather a couple of friends, and pick a busy spot where you can speak up for animals. As you think about planning your first protest, you may have a few questions, like where can I protest? Well, that really depends on what you're protesting against. Protesting dairy? Try calling out the vegan milk surcharge on a sidewalk in front of a busy Starbucks. Protesting animal experimentation? Try exposing its cruelty on or around a local college campus that uses animals in laboratories. There are two things to keep in mind when choosing an effective protest location. Lots of foot traffic and public property. This may lead you to another question. What should I do if the police show up? After choosing a protest spot, it's good to call the local police department and let the officers know when and where you'd like to have your protest. Once they confirm that the location is public property, they'll give you the go-ahead. Be sure to write down the name of the officer you speak with. If anyone, like an employee, a security guard, or an annoyed citizen calls the police about your event, you can give them the name of the officer who approved it. Now you may be thinking, all right, Aaron, that's all fine and dandy, but what if I'm not comfortable talking to people at a protest? I completely understand that. I wasn't always as confident and comfortable doing outreach as I am now. During the first few protests I attended, I was way too nervous to do any outreach. But that's totally fine. There are many ways to go about protesting, and all of them help animals. You can hold signs, play footage on a laptop, or hand out leaflets without having to do any outreach. Simply saying, help save animals, as you hand someone a leaflet is perfect. And if they have any questions about the topic, just encourage them to read your leaflet or look up any of the websites on it for more information. No matter how you go about protesting, you'll be speaking up for animals, which really is a rewarding experience. Just remember, every activist had their first protest too, and it's completely normal to be nervous. But once you focus on your compassion for animals, you'll forget your nerves and realize that pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone for an hour is worth it to make the world a better place for animals. And if we don't speak up, who will? Remember, you're never in it alone. If you ever have any questions or need advice or any protest materials, SOS is always here to help. So don't hesitate to get in touch with us. I can't wait to see pictures from your protests.